Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hello to everyone out there in the big world. Welcome back. This is Ian here in a very sunny and noisy Beijing. So I am out today and I've come up to a place called the Solano Mall, which is a fantastic outdoor European style shopping mall here in Beijing. I have to say, every time I come to the Solano Mall, I am always impressed by it. And when the weather and the sky is blue like this, it's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of a European shopping mall somewhere in Spain or whatever. But I, I think you'll agree, it is a beautiful day and also a pretty cool shopping mall. Although it, it is early in the morning um, to arrive here, and the evening is very busy. I have made a video here before um, about that mall, which I'll link up here. However, the mall is not what I'm here for today because I have something else in store that might be even more interesting and the chicadas are kicking in. Before I kick off with this video, I would like to point out that it is roasting hot here. Like, I mean, crazy mental hot. And for a Scottish person like today is going to be full of sweaty hot fun. But not that kind of sweaty hot fun. And I do know that some friends and people who follow this channel in Australia and India and so on just piss at my challenge of managing the heat um, but this is a struggle man this is a real struggle for me the other day i actually almost passed out with the heat and the humidity i was walking around sweat was gushing out my brow and i'm looking at everyone around me and it was just normal for them so i think i need time to adjust yeah So you might be asking your good self, what is this daft Scottish person taking us to see today? Well, what I'm having a look at today is on the back of a recommendation from a friend of mine who told me that this is a really interesting area to walk in because there are a few really nice places to see beside the riverbank. Now, when I hear mention of walking up the side of a river in a city, I'm usually a little bit apprehensive because my experience is that mm, riversides, although often very beautiful, they do attract some of the more unsavory elements of a city. But then, this is Beijing and it is a lot safer than most of the cities, if not all of the cities in and around the whole wide world. So. And I am thinking here, I'm, t I'm thinking back a couple of years back when we were in London, we were celebrating the New Year and there was a lot of homelessness around the riverbank where we were staying and it was really tough to see. That said, we did pass the same people every night and we got talking to some of the guys there and they were great people. In fact, a couple of guys stick in my mind, they were ex-military and they were so polite and kind towards Lisa that it was always good to see them. Uh, and we also made sure that we appreciated their kindness. So today, as you may have already guessed, I'm going to take a walk up the side of the river that runs through this part of Beijing. And if you are up for it, I am taking you with me. So let's go. We are going that direction. The one thing you do see when you come to a, a, an underpass or an overpass, I can't remember what you call it, but you do see that there is, it's really clean and there is, um, as I said, no homeless people. So yeah, where they are in the city, if they are, then I, I, I don't know, but you definitely don't see that here in, in, the, in the underpass, as you can see, spotlessly clean. Look at the blue sky, it's just incredible. I love a beautiful day like this. The humidity isn't 
as bad as what it was previously. The last couple of days where I was just feeling so bad and sickly. Uh, so the air is cleared because we had a thunderstorm. That was a really interesting walk along that part of the river. What was quite striking for me is the lack of graffiti. That's another thing that you don't see here in, in Beijing, this lack of graffiti. And there was a lot of families there and, and enjoying the shade. So it is just a, a really pleasant walk and I'm glad that I was recommended this. I, I'm actually going to find a small place to grab a coffee, um, which they recommended as well. So stick with me, hang in there. Hot. To continue to follow the river, I've had to come up off out of the river uh, pathway uh, and through a small side sort of hutong or side residential commercial area and then I'll go back onto the river. Might stop here, I think this is where the place is that they recommended for the coffee. Hot. So I've got myself a little coffee, sit myself down, cool down, uh, chill and spend a little bit of time people watching, which I think is everyone's favourite hobby, watching what other people do. So a very interesting wee half hour coming up. Cool. See, I was here one evening and that had a music band playing uh, just around Christmas time. It was pretty cool. This is actually the embassy area of the city, so I think it is quite affluent. And a uh, few very important embassies are just behind me over on that side, across there. Hmm. See that quite often people fully covered to protect themselves from the sun and also um, using an umbrella so actually they had a cruise back there um but it's not leaving for uh, maybe another half hour or so so i thought i'd give it a miss this time something that i might do later i'm going to continue the river walk on the other side but it's getting super hot now so i'm not sure how long it'll last try and stay in the shade a little bit more but let's see what it's like on this side and I'll call it a day maybe, get some food. So it's been a good day so far. It is getting hot now. So I'm going to bid you farewell, maybe leave you with a few other things shown here on video. Meanwhile, as always from Hurt me here in Beijing, peace out, be safe, take care and a guy jogging in this heat. Hot. Oh, one more thing before I go. I am going to attempt to cycle back and put this camera on my foot or foot and then cycle back. I will link that video at the end of this video if you want to see what a bike ride through this part of Beijing is like. Yes. Hurt. You could try to play it but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stained from the beach.